Hey guys, today's chapter eight, day eight of the Proverbs Challenge, 31 chapters in, 31 days. And as you can see, today I am in the Pentagon at Grace. Um, we're we directing and seeing all the cameras and for a service, so it's a lot of fun. You guys get a little quick peek of what it looks like. Sweet. So today is chapter eight, which I'm gonna read to you. The title is Commendation of Wisdom. Does not wisdom call? And understanding lift up her voice, and on top of the heights besides the way where the paths meet, she takes her stand. Beside the gates, at the opening to the city, at the entrance of the door, she cries out, To you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. O naive ones, understand prudence, and, O fools, understand wisdom. Listen, for I will speak noble things, and the opening of my lips will reveal right things. For my mouth will utter truth, and wickedness is an abomination to my lips." All the utterance of my mouth are in righteousness. There is nothing crooked or perverted in them. They are all straightforwarded to him who understands and right to those who find knowledge. Take my instruction and not silver, and knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than jewels, and all desirable things cannot compare with her. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence, and I find knowledge and discretion. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogance in the evil way, and the perverted mouth I hate. Counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding. Power is mine. By my kings reign and rulers decree justice. By me princes rule and nobles, all who judge rightly. I love those who love me, and those who dil diligently seek me will find me. Riches and honor are with me, enduring wealth and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, even pure gold, and my yield better than choices silver. I walk in the way of righteousness in the midst of the path of justice to endow those who love me with wealth, that I may fill their treasuries. The Lord possessed me at the beginning of his way, before his works of old. From everlasting I was established, from the beginning, from the earliest times of the earth. While there were no depths, I was brought forth. Then there were no springs abounding with water. Before the mountains were settled, before the hills I was brought forth. While he had not yet made the earth in the fields, nor the first dust of the world, when he established the heavens, I was there when he inscribed a circle on the face of the deep, when he made firm the skies above, when the springs of the deep became fixed, when he set for the sea its boundaries so that the water would not transgress his command, when he marked out the foundations of the earth, then I was beside him as a master workman, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in the world, his earth, and having my delight in the sons of men. Now, therefore, O sons, listen to me, for blessed are those who keep my ways, Heed instruction to be wise, and do not neglect it. Blessed is the man who listens to me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at my doorposts. For he who finds me finds life and obtains favor from the Lord. But he who sins against me injures himself. All those who hate me love death. So the verse there that really, really gets to me is verse 17. And that's, I love those who love me, and those who diligently seek me will find me. And I think it's interesting because, so this is an NASB. In my, um, it's more of a literal translation, the ESV, the King James, they have diligently or they have early. Those who seek me early will find me. But the NIV, NLT, um, Net Bible, those just say, you know, I love those who love me and those who seek me find me. But the key word I'm finding out is it's diligently. Because, and what does that word mean? So, pull up here, it's going to be from dictionary.com. And there's two, two uh, translations for it. It says, for, to, diligent, constant in effort to accomplish something, attentive and persistent in doing so, anything, or done or persuaded with per, persevering attention, painstaking. So it's interesting that they add that diligently in there because um, it's one thing to seek. So, so take a picture of, I've seen this comic before where it was talking about just success. And you have one man who's, they're both looking, for, there's two men. They're both looking for diamonds. The one just goes and starts digging, starts digging, you know, looking for it. And then he decides, nah, there's nothing there and turns around. Even if there were diamonds there, it doesn't matter. But the point is he turned around, he, he, he quit. But those who, who find the diamonds, they're the ones who are digging. They're the ones who are studying. Where are the diamonds at? Where are they located? How far down do I have to dig to find them? And they keep going. They, they're diligently seeking those diamonds as we have to diligently seek the Lord. So it's not just seek him. Don't just try to seek him. Hey, Lord, oh, I want to find you. And then, but you're not getting into his word. You're not studying him. You're not praying out to him. 
Um, Because then you probably won't find him. But if you diligently seek him, he holds his promises. His promises are true, guys. And he will, you know, you you will find him. And you will find his wisdom. So that's all I got for you today. Uh, Tomorrow's chapter 9. Hope you enjoyed the background today. So, all right, guys. Love you. See you tomorrow. Peace. I'm out.